Greetings in the name of Yahweh, Yahushua, Hamashiach. Thanking Yahweh for another service. Thank you for another fellowship. Thanking Yahweh for the assembling of ourselves that we may edify Yahweh and rely on Yahweh for spiritual guidance, growth, and enhancement and fellowship in Yahweh's name, in Yahshua's name. I would like to also, at this time, uh, begin with a little prayer. Oh, let us look at y'all. Yahweh, we just thank you for our fulfilling of ourselves today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your guidance and instruction. Oh, Yahweh, that we may be empowered, that we will be able to seek your word in truth for clarity. Hallelujah. And edification in your name. Y'all, we just thank you how you sustain us and uphold us and empower us, oh Yahweh, to walk in the righteousness of your love. Y'all, we ask that we do these things, that you be magnified and that you be lifted up both now and forever. Hallelujah. 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 You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt it in my heart.
me to the book of Psalm chapter 8. Psalm chapter 8. To the chief musician upon Gittith, a psalm of David. For in Psalm 8 it is recorded. O Yah, our Savior, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Who has set thine honor above the heavens? Oh, yeah. Out of the mouth of babes and suckling, mm -hmm. thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou might seal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, mm -hmm. what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visit him? Thou made him a little lower than the angels, and have crowned him with praise and honor. All thou hast put all things under his feet. All the sheep and oxen, yea, the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. O Yahweh, our Savior, how excellent! Is that name in all the earth? You know, Yahweh is truly worthy to be praised, yes. truly worthy to be honored yes. and reverenced yes. because it's Yahweh and Yahweh alone that has is responsible for and doesn't answer to anyone because of his sovereign characteristics. Yes. Yahweh doesn't owe anyone any favors. Yahweh doesn't have to really do no more than Yahweh chooses to do. However, Yahweh loves people, yeah. humanity, yeah. and would prefer that humanity be redeemed and saved from a disparaging situation. Yes. Oh, yeah. Most disparaging because of the SIN factor mm -hmm. that continues to compound and have a multiplier effect unto the detriment and eradication of humanity. Mm -hmm. I thank Yahweh that he's given us a mind to come here on do, doing times of service to gather together and to worship Yah's name because it is truly worthy to be praised. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> In the name of Yahshua, in the name of Yahshua, we have the victory. In the name of Yahshua, in the name of Yahshua, say I will have to flee. Call on 
At this time, I like to have, uh, if I will, get a uh, selection from maybe at least one, one or two of you um, yeah. for. Uh, well, before I do that, I like to also say that Yahweh is our edifier. Mm -hmm. He is the one that inspires his people. Yeah. And through the clarity of Yahweh's truth mm -hmm. to find the essential elements mm -hmm. in the truth. That would give his people encouragement to press forward. Because oh, yeah. we're living in times of darkness and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Times that cause men to fall by the wayside because of the flim flams mm -hmm. that's going on <laughs> in society. You see, we're living in times of darkness mm -hmm. and dismay. We, we look and we see so much uncertainty mm -hmm. that we begin to wonder. And even the people that don't know Yahweh begin to wonder mm -hmm. and look for solutions that they can't find, right. that they haven't experienced, right. not realize, but because of the mystery of iniquity that does already work. It is still working. It's a work in progress. Just like Yahweh is work is a work in progress. And it's because man fell in sin. The devil has chosen the same path to stay in sin. Mm -hmm. That many will fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. So at this time, I ask for an inspiration of selection. A selection that would cause one or provoke one to be inspired to press forward. Yeah, At this time, uh, Sister Flo, would you please give us a uh, selection? Yeah, hallelujah. Uh, and you put you on the spot, but anyway. Yeah, right. oh, Appreciate it.
get you down. When hard trials come your way, lift your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is liberation in the word Hallelujah. The praise that brings forth to initiate and acclimate redemption. In the name of Yahweh, uh -huh. that we may see and experience the truth, that it be spread throughout humanity and creation oh, yeah. to bring about liberation in humanity. For men, we're living in times that try men's souls, yeah. Oh, yeah. times of destitution, mm -hmm. times of deprivation, mm -hmm. without any relief. Yeah. You know, in times of great oppression mm -hmm. because darkness has engulfed the planet. Okay. Engulfed the planet to the point that it has created darker conditions. Mm -hmm. Conditions of slavery. Mm -hmm. Conditions of racism. Conditions, hallelujah, of, of, of slavery to the point where there's no recovery. Mm -hmm. God, we're in times of uncertainty of bankruptcy, mm -hmm. even global destitution. Oh, yeah. You see, the Federal Reserve note, that thing we spend, mm -hmm. called a dollar bill. Mm -hmm. Listen to it, bill, it's a debt. It's a bill. It's a debt, the bill is a debt. Mm -hmm. That's right. And see, society as a whole is in debt. Mm -hmm. There's a debt upon humanity that we cannot pay. We can't even pay the interest. The banksters, did I say banksters? Kind of like gangsters, right? You see, they have got together in a conspiratorial mode. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay, all right, I'm kind of loud. In a conspiratorial mode to cause people to be subservient to their will so that they control all social economic activity. Through their laws, they enforce. Because they believe that he that controls the land and the air and the water is the law. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Is the law? Is the law? Yeah, that's what it is. You see, in these uncertain times that we live, men are faced with great perplexities mm -hmm. and complications that tend to lead them. And stagnancy, yeah. spiritual stagnancy, oh, yeah. where they don't know which way to turn or to go forward oh, yeah. Yeah. with all the uncertainty that's before them on a daily basis. You see, that spiritual warfare, oh, did I say spiritual warfare? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, that the flesh lusts against the ruach mm -hmm. and the ruach against the flesh, so we won't do the things we need to do. So no problem there. We have a problem. And the problem begins going back to Adam. Mm -hmm. You know, because, and I'm not going to touch on it too much right now, but just to show you that's the beginning. And then it gets all the way out to this point here where people using their intellect, mm -hmm. relying on what they've been taught based on their intellect, which also brings about the propensity or the potential mm -hmm. for speech. A very instrumental element mm -hmm. for communication. Yeah. To talk about what's on the inside that it comes on the outside that people may hear and act accordingly. See, what is said when laws are made, that's still another form of communication, but it's based on a particular language. Did I say language? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You see, language uh, brings about challenges. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my time, but I don't expect it to be too long. In fact, I don't expect it to be long. But just to get to the points, make some very interesting interesting points 
to cause one, to provoke one to think. Mm -hmm. To stimulate the mind to think and analyze mm -hmm. according to Yahweh's will. You see, translation challenges from one's language to another. You know, because there's over 7,000 languages. We heard pastor even say this before, and, I, and my condolences goes out to pastors of uh, 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 was it Coco? Is that right, Minister Butler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people get attached to animals, and that's that's, that's reasonable. I mean, there's gonna be some attachment, but not to the point of worship. It's just like attachment with something you love dearly, and you show, uh, you may person may show that, um, just not to spiritual darkness, giving heed to spiritual darkness and all that, just. Love for what they had. Right. Appreciation for what they had. And thankfulness unto Yahweh. Hallelujah. Who made all things. Amen. Including principalities and powers. So. Again translation challenges from one language to another. We're dealing with the problem when we deal with translation uh, challenges from one language to another. We're dealing with idioms. We deal with punctuations. We deal and humor to make translating text from one language to another very difficult. Very difficult. Because when back in past time, languages begin to become more and more confusing to one another. Even though in their mode of communication, they meant what they meant how they meant it according to their upbringing. The problem is when it gets to the other language, it may not come out the same way. That's right. This is part of the apostasy and confusion that mankind, mankind has inherited or, or cultivated and developed into further gloom, doom, darkness, mm -hmm. and confusion. And so when we pick up the this Biblios, as they call it, or uh, the scriptures, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be some problems. But we are not fully aware of those problems. That's another thing. Because we're in an English dialect. We're not even in a language. Wow. And, you know, imagine the confusion. The, the, the dialect now comes in and then brings another curveball. And it's kind of, you know, it's worse. In fact, it's not kind of. It's worse than I take 15 people and, ha and I'm talking to, 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 to one person. And that person goes to the second person, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, so on. And by the time they get to the 15th person, just speaking the same dialect, mm -hmm. the, the message changed. Right. So if the message changed in the same dialect, now, now wait a minute now, y'all. It stands to reason if the message changed in the same dialect, what happened when it came to the spiritual writings of the scriptures? As it transcends beyond one language to another language, dialect to another dialect, it, what, what brings about they can say by the time they translate or use the idioms and the punctuations and other uh, translating texts, the confusion sets in and metastasizes to the point where the meaning becomes something different. Hallelujah. Huh? Is that possible? Yes. It's, it's happening every day. It's in real time happening right now. Right this minute. So if that's the case, it's no accident we ended up with Jesus. <laughs> did I say Jesus? Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I did. I should not tell a lie. I did say Jesus. But see, that has become accepted as the absolute truth in many circles. And so, a translation process is not complete until specific merits, such as intended meaning, are met. 
This is why professional translation services companies hire extensively trained and experienced translators. What did I just say? I'll read it again. A translation process is not complete until specific merits such as intended meaning are met. This is why professional translation services companies hire extensively trained and experienced translators. What did I just say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. No matter what language, no matter what dialect they're speaking in, it still got to go across to the other areas in the other languages if it, those people want to be reached, if they want to know what you're saying. And even within the same language or same dialect, what a mass ball of confusion. A mass ball. So, so you know what? That means there's some serious problems going on. Because the ability to disseminate, the ability to disseminate, spread, spread, disseminate mm -hmm. the word or message, a message is a challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. And then when you factor in the pronouns, mm -hmm. him and her and he and she and they, it, and somebody walking in the middle of service, coming in, or at the beginning, right, at the, just cracking the door, and service just beginning, and the sentence is halfway through or three quarters finished, and they say that pronoun, they don't know who they're talking about. They got a guess at it. That's a good guess. It could be talking about Yeshua. But the confusion is they use a G-O-D. Or L O R D. Now G O D spelled three ways. We know the three ways, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. All cap G O D, capital G, small O D, mm -hmm. and then all small letters G O D. Or Lord, mm -hmm. capital L, and then all capital rest with the letters mm -hmm. O R D. Mm -hmm. Capital L, small cases O R D, mm -hmm. and then low, lower cases letters. L-O-R-D. Mm -hmm. And person just getting up, preacher get up there and talk, and he just uses Lord or, or God, and I don't know which one he's talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if people have accepted this as the norm, you got to be kidding. <laughs> you, but, man, look, I, I thought, I, I, thought it was, I was going crazy. I thought it was just me. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the word, the word even telling me, are telling you that what they saying is a ball of confusion. Mm -hmm. How can they sit there and be in denial of the word looking right at them while they claim they believe? Mm -hmm. What an apostasy. A ball of confusion. <clears throat> a cesspool of craziness. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh y'all would please deliver us. Deliver us from ourselves. From ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it says uh, being a translator is about much more than simply being bilingual. It is about being able to interpret and transcribe a message suitably according to its purpose and target audience, taking into account not only language aspect, but also social cultural factors. You mean to tell me you got social cultural factors incorporated into the communication process because of the per people's uh, community where they're from and their habits, their social economic habits, whether they whether they like to uh, uh, grow crops or whether they like to grow just flowers or whatever that social economic habit is. See, social economic activity is controlled by the LAWS mm -hmm. laws of each and every country or providence or particular jurisdiction for which one comes from. Mm -hmm. And so here we can see that in order to successfully, accurately complete the translation a very specific set of skills is required to overcome language barriers. Mm -hmm. Language barriers. The problem is, 
when I go back and check to his story, mm -hmm. woo, see these are the words which came from the witches of Salem, mm -hmm. the attorneys, A-T-T-O-R-N-E-S. A is a prefix, means not. Mm -hmm. Not practicing law, but practicing procedure. Uh -oh. Uh oh See, we, we, we got a lot of work to do, and, 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 and you know something? I thank Yahweh for the work, but, but, but the other part is being able to get the message across. Because as I speak in this dialect, being translated or transliterated somewhere else, it becomes problematical. Mm -hmm. And so now that we deal with this and the, the linguistics from the translators and everything else that they see in the languages or dialects they are trying to get the point across about, we can see the challenge. It's a, like I said, it's a ball of confusion. It's a massive mess, a serious undertaking. But you know what, though? We must keep striving because we need the truth. The truth about Yahweh's word. The truth about Yahweh's word. I mean, that is the most essential element and component, the common denominator, the reason for the season. To communicate. Yeah. To communicate? Yes. To communicate. Difficulties caused by language structure. Difficulties caused by language structure. Difficulties, there are, like I said, over 7,000 languages currently listed in the world. Not to mention the number of dialects existing. See, they don't even include the dialects. You know, and, 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 and so here we got we got dialects existing within languages. Every single one of them is unique, with own or with its own origin, roots, and structure. In a way, each language is a prism, and that's P R I S M, mm -hmm. and has its own complex way of functioning: idioms, expressions, compound words, false friends. Even onomatopoeic expressions, or poetic expressions, all of them make the richness and uniqueness of a language, but also represent an obstacle for communication. Mm -hmm. Did I say represent an obstacle mm -hmm. for communication? And the intent of communicating is to be clear, mm -hmm. so one would understand and to be able to perceive. What is saying? Mm -hmm. It's kind of oxymoronical. Mm -hmm. It defeats the purpose of even opening this obligatory oris muscle, mm -hmm. mouth muscle. It's a problem. It's a serious problem here. And see, that is part of the warfare, the spiritual warfare. Because if we keep the truth from you, guess what? We'll be staying in darkness. Yeah. We'll stay in darkness. And, and, and Satan is enjoying all of this. In fact, that's what Satan did. Like I said, he always created the copycat, the, the phony, the phony copy. See, Yahweh uh, cursed man with sin as a result of man's disobedience through Adam, blood of Yah, Dom, blood. Mm -hmm. Hey, Yah, blood of Yah was cursed. And when it got cursed, it not only affected Adam, it affected all of creation. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. The weather brought us into time. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the structure of the earth for which it, it was set, now it had to be set on an axis. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as a result of all this deterioration and de further deprivation and disenfranchisement of the resources within the planet, all that happened as a result of what someone communicated between each other, mm -hmm. Eve and Adam. Oh, you won't surely die. Well, you're right. It'll, it'll be a gradual death. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when Joshua cursed that tree and said, You don't produce no fruit. Well, that's the case you curse. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't worried about you. You can't produce no fruit. And then it didn't die right away within 24 hours or so. It was dead from the root. Mm -hmm. From the root. So now, we're looking at this here. We said, for an example, 
A funny joke in one language can lose all its meaning when translated to another. So if you're trying to transcribe a joke in a foreign language, your interlocutor might not actually get your sense of humor because it's not built to do that. And it says this, especially within the business and marketing environments, can be potentially dangerous. Literal translation can be very tricky. Take, for example, our Arabic. Not only is not only is it reads from right to left, unlike English, but the subject pronouns are actually included in con conjugated verbs. It shows just how complex the way of functioning of each language is and how difficult it can be for someone whose native language is completely different to learn and even translate. Now, let's go back to the beginning. Like I said, we were talking about Adam, where in Genesis 2, 17 it says, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day of that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Why did we go back? Why did we go back? You got to go back to the origin. You got to go back to the origin. See, you see all the confusion and the apostasy and all the darkness that has continued to cultivate a compound over the years from generation to generation. Man is in a cesspool of hell oh, yeah. and can't save himself. Man is in great trouble. And when it comes time to pay the bill, Satan's going to be laughing because he know he got some company coming with him. Some people are so confused, it's no hope for them because they don't want no help. They don't want no help. And so here we are. Like I say, they will surely die. Genesis 3 17 says, Then to Adam, y'all said, and it's got in here, he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which I command you, saying, You shall not eat of it, cause curse. The ground of your for your sake. In toil shall you eat of it all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. The ground got cursed. Mm -hmm. See how consequential that was? Mm -hmm. Why? Because man and women, man was made from the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means from generation to generation, as man man produces seed, and then while he produces seed, he's relying on eating from the ground. The ground is deteriorating. Mm -hmm. And then you got people like us, other men, especially men that are selfish and greedy, these large corporations, these corporations that go around and produce companies. And then they have, well, let me give this first. These corporations emit or release toxins into the air, into the soil, into the water. And we eat from that and then we produce seed. Hallelujah. We're in, a, we're in dire straits here. We got some problems. Preachers, leaders, spiritual leaders, spiritual leaders of government can't stop the word. You, can, you gotta get back and, 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 and get in line with the word of Yahweh. You have to answer to the word because we're all accountable to the word no matter what man's law says. Because in Romans it says, in 8 it says, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. What did the flesh do? Sin. It did the sin. The sin that affected all creation. You know, so y'all, y'all got to, got, it's easy to fix, but, but it can only be done by y'all. Okay. To rectify this condition, to correct this condition.
condition that we're in. And so, and y'all saw in Genesis 6, 5, saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of the heart was only evil continually. Mm -hmm. Continually. Yeah. Why? Because of what is spoken, the messages that went out from each human irrespective of their language or dialect, was just cultivating and compounding the situation. You see, because what a person speaks, so are they. Or them. And so, here we can see that man is only, can, the best man can do is only worsen his condition. That's the best man has to offer. It's fail. <laughs> so the trust in the president, trust in the mayor, trust, trust, trust in Congress. Well, look, in America alone, you got over 400 million citizens. These citizens pay taxes every time they buy goods and services in America. If you buy gasoline, there's a tax. You, they buy cigarettes, there's a tax. They buy food, there's tax. Whatever they buy is a tax. It's called an excise tax, the constitutional tax, the lawful tax in this country. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, that's happening every day. As we sit here in real time, people out here paying taxes into the system. Mm -hmm. So you, can y'all explain this to me then? Could you explain to me how in the world did we end up needing a loan to pay our bills? Mm. Huh? <laughs> because of sin. Because mm -hmm. remember now, as a result of what man did, Yahweh down at the Tower of Babel, Yahweh went down and confound the languages. Did I say confound? Mm. Confound? The languages got confound? Oh my goodness, that is horrific. We can't even begin to understand or equate what that is. Ills. Really, quite significant issue. And so the assignment of, again, the assignment of Adam was not to eat. Remember it says, it says, then in Genesis 3, 17, then to Adam, Y'all say, because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which I command you, saying, you shall not eat of it. Mm -hmm. Cursed is the ground from, for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. That means man had to invent things and create things to help alleviate, soften the blow of the work, the labor, that had to be incorporated and put into so that man could eat. Mm -hmm. He had to till the soil. And Yahweh would have to, would, knowing the likely would have to assist him with a revelation to see what to do in order to help himself. Oh, yeah. So Yahweh was still being compassionate. Oh, yeah. Even in the sin. Knowing that the end result was going to be the S-I-N factor because the SIN factor was the main determinant mm -hmm. or contaminant to humanity. And then to be confounded, mm -hmm. that means now walking around with less insight, mm -hmm. less ability to discern and to solve for resolve mm -hmm. the problem. You see, we have some serious problems in this society today that are not being properly addressed. And because they are not being addressed, humanity suffers. Suffers. Like I said, just like I was saying about United States Corporation on the volume 20 of Corpus Juris Secundum, section 1785, it says the United States government is a foreign corporation with respect to a state. A foreign corporation? Yeah. So that means when you got your driver's license and it's in all capitalized letters, 
uh, social security card, all capitalized letters. That is non to give poetic language. That is property of the corporation. That's what that is. Property of the corporation. Scripture said, be not ignorant of Satan and his devices. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Devices. Satan got some devices out here, and we got a long ways to catch up. But guess what? We're getting there for us that are believers, because we're showing up to learn. Yeah. But the, for the most part, the, the rest of the world is sleep. That's true. Sleep. Yeah. And don't want to wake up. They're comfortable slaves. Comfortable slaves. Yeah. You know, that will remain in slavery until they leave here. So now, here we are. <clears throat> We're faced with a choice. And for the most part, the, pl the people on the planet are faced with a realization, a choice. Get conformed to Yahweh or remain confounded. I repeat, we're going to talk about getting conformed to Yahweh or remain confounded. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Living we're living. That's right. That's right. We're living in a world of confusion. Again, uncertainty. And without resolve. Mm -hmm. Men are striving to go to space and to make all types of accomplishments just to still be in sin. Mm -hmm. What a mockery. What a mockery. I mean, you know, we're talking about spiritual disenfranchisement of humanity. Mm -hmm. That's what's at stake here. So if it wasn't for, for, so if it had not been for Yah on our side, where would we be? Where would we be? Because we had to rely on these Sunday school teachers and these Bible class teachers. I should have said Bible class. No, no offense, bro. No, ain't got nothing to do with you. Bible class teachers and Sunday school teachers and pastors. We, we would really have a problem. We would really have a problem because now, you know, without any guidance, it's nothing left but trouble. That's why there's wars and rumors of wars. That's why it is because the racism and the people like this. I heard Sister Sharon say going down to, was it, Mac the Mall and shooting up folks? Just, just open season. Bam, bam, bam. Wow. I, 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 you know, what an infringement on life liberty and property of the individuals. We didn't sign up for that, but that is part of the program because of the sin factor. There's no limit to apostasy or evil that will be promulgated or promoted by the sin factor. The sin factor. The sin factor is dangerous because it's designed to take Humanity out of its comfort zone. Even though it wants humanity in a comfort zone of darkness and apostasy, but it's subject to react at any time and take us totally out. Because sin, when it's finished, excuse me, brings forth death. Brings forth death. Oh, uh, for the, it says the scripture said, "For from the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, all sexual immorality, theft, lying, and slander." Mm -hmm. That's in Matthew fifteen nineteen. We can see again. It says in Genesis six five. It said Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great mm -hmm. in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually. Mm -hmm. Continually. No break. Mm -hmm. No recess. Hallelujah. You see, we're in some dire streets here, and we need relief. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh says the way we get relief is to get conformed to Yahweh mm -hmm. or remain confounded. Mm -hmm. Confounded in the evil way of society. Even the laws that are made are not sufficient 
to redeem mankind. Because man can't save himself. And man can't even obey his own laws. You got people that's in the top branches of government and, 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 and other bureaucracies or administrations, and they're not following the law. But they expect you to follow. Mm -hmm. And if you don't follow, guess what? You will be punished, fined, and in prison. Mm -hmm. In prison. And so here we got the translators now because there's no J in the Hebrew alphabets. How in the world did we come up with Jesus? Can somebody tell me that? I, I, I'm, I'm really confused. I, I'm, I'm totally in the dark. I, you, you know, I, I don't blame the pastor for putting out the proclamation or declaration that any of them to come forward and to challenge you. I, I tend to agree and stand in support of that declaration for them to challenge because, I mean, it didn't exist until around the 16th century. Peter Gallatin, <laughs> print press. So, I mean, well, what's that all about? It's more confusion in the game. But since that confusion has happened, the people took it and ran with it. And they got songs and everything else. My goodness. You know, and, and, and when we look at it, there's so much confusion that it brings about even more apostasy and darkness. So to the point that we as, a, as humans need relief, we need spiritual relief from all these apostate beliefs, paganisms, false deities. In fact, coming to the United States, U.S. United States, which has 14 legal definitions, you get here and you see a, a monument standing. Mm -hmm. They call it, what they call that monument with the light shining? Anybody know? So what now? Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Somebody, that's, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Simaramus. Okay. <laughs> Nimrod's mother and wife. <laughs> hmm. You know, it's, it's amazing to see when, when we take these, when people take leadership roles, mm -hmm. they're responsible to feed the flock. Mm -hmm. To feed the flock adequately or to the best of their ability. Man, we can't expect them to know everything. They are not omniscient. There you go. Come on. But whatever you tell, please tell the truth. Please, please, I get on my knees and beg you, please tell the truth. Tell the truth about Jesus. <laughs> we, 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 the, the truth about Jesus needs to be told. Yeah. It needs to be spelled out to the people about its origins. You know, truth is essential in anything you do. Because without truth, there's going to be some problems mm -hmm. down the road for the people that choose to accept it. A lot of truth is under color of law. That's what we call that. Mm -hmm. Color of law. Because it's not the truth. And it blocks and precludes the ability to get the message right. Mm -hmm. That's what lies does. Prevarications. Lies do. Mm -hmm. They block the truth. We need truth in this society to feed humanity that we may stand up and praise y'all and give honor to y'all. Yahweh's word is highly necessary in the society we live in. So much to the point that without it, we can't make it. And we won't make it. The word is that essential. In fact, the effects of remaining confounded, mm -hmm. if one chooses to remain confounded, which would include, include but not limited to, mm -hmm. 
uh, to sustain a lifestyle of error to empower sin. Did you get that? Did y'all get that? Bible class teachers, Sunday school teachers, pastors. Now hear this. Now hear this. Like I said, the effects of remaining confounded includes, but is not limited thereto, cultivation to sustain a lifestyle of error to empower sin. That's one. Two. Enhancing the spread of error slash sin. Number three, enlarging the deprivation from the effects of sin, such as spiritual confusion, disenfranchisement, and stagnancy. Spiritual stagnancy. Mm -hmm. Ever learning, but never able to get the knowledge of the truth. And if a person is in a leadership role and is allowing that to take place, I think it's time for you to check yourself. Because that's a serious responsibility to lead a flock, be responsible to feed a flock, and then feed them lies or prevarications. That's, that's dangerous. That is, that is very dangerous. It says void of the truth for spiritual growth. See, void of truth, one is void of truth if they deal with the effects of remaining confounded. And confoundment affects everything. It affects not only just communication, but the quality of food and the air we breathe and everything. But especially the communication because we take what's called medication. Watch it, watch it. I didn't say that. Oh, medication. The effects on some medications because of the confoundment yes. that has been placed on its intent to administer right. to the patient mm -hmm. leads to counsel. Mm -hmm. How come every time you turn around on the television show mm -hmm. or the TV, you see a lawsuit by uh, XYZ uh, law firm? Yeah. If you have taken a uh, 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 Kodak or, 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 or time or whatever it is. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it for an example. Yeah. Then it says to see them. Mm -hmm. If you have suffered from certain symptoms. Yeah. I mean this stuff is attacking kidneys and, and, and organs and everything else and we relying on that. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, see, see I tell you what it comes a time in the common man you common man is also responsible to protect his family and himself. Right. And it's time for you to go behind those leaders and verify everything they say. I dare you. I dare you to do that. Take the time to do that. Your life is worth that much to you. Since we can't reason with the leaders, reason with the, with, with the people themselves. Because the people are being ero e e egregiously Taking advantage of. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Taking advantage of. And it's just not right. Now, if you love being a comfortable slave, be my guest. Do your thing. It, 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 you know, because uh, I can't tell you mm -hmm. who to listen to. <laughs> oh, Sue. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right, Abraham? <laughs> you know, so, so, anyways, uh, to prevent, furthermore, I think the point has been made that we are to get conformed mm -hmm. to Yahweh or remain confounded. Mm -hmm. Let's not remain confounded to this world system. Right. And with that, I bid you shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you. Uh, at this time, yeah, yeah, I, I got you. At this time, let us bow our heads for our communion. Yeah. Oh, y'all, we just thank you for the word we have received to feed our souls for clarity and correction and edification in y'all. That we'll be able to continue to be cultivated in our minds. Oh, yeah. That we 
will be able to stand in this evil day, having done all to stand for Yahshua's name. Y'all, we are looking to eat your bread, your flesh, and drink your blood, the wine, that we will remember, be in remembrance of you to serve and to honor or obey. These things we say and ask in your precious name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, Amen. let us uh, take our communion by eating our bread. If I can get my eyes open. Help me out, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Finger was a little funny. Got one of those sticky ones though. Ooh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Well, that's good enough. Sir, I can say y'all eat your bread and drink your your wine, symbolic of the blood, that we are being remembrance of our Savior and our Redeemer and Liberator unto this day. And with that, yes, um, yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, with that, we will entertain some words from. Our elder, elder Belcher. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to get ready to be dismissed. Just going to have a few short words of inspiration and healing words. Sometimes just being in the presence of People who are living right can be a blessing. Sometimes it can heal our bodies and our minds. Even while you're talking to them, it can start the healing process. You may go away and then feel something, or That's your right. situation may change, whether it's financially or physically. Amen. But it's because of that person you were around, what was in them, that Yahweh blessed them and favored them. Because in life, kindness, gentleness, and being friendly has its benefits. Oh, yes. It has its benefits. Amen. You may be at church, you may be on the street corner, you may be at somebody's house, but meeting people and being kind to people has a benefit to you, to your soul and your spirit. And with that said, we're going to get ready to close out. As you go now, may Yahweh bless you and keep you and watch over you and watch over everybody. In Yahshua's name, amen. 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 Amen.